welcome to Gen X Toy Box. As you can see, I have a really huge box next to me. That's because my husband got all his stuff in from Big Bad Toy Store. Now, let me tell you a little bit about the store. I know I've talked about them before in some of my other videos. They are fantastic. Like, that's where we get most of our stuff pre-ordered. And they always have stuff available, which is really convenient for the collector, let me tell you. And then the other cool part is they don't actually charge you until your item comes in. And then you can choose when to ship it. And you just get one flat rate for shipping. So all this was one flat rate shipped. So, so grateful because now we have toys and I can't tell you how much it has saved me going into Walmart and hunting things down. So Big Bad Toy Store has been a huge savior as far as like collecting goes. So I'm going to jump into this because it's a huge box and this is all my husband. I, he did this. I, I have, I have nothing to do with it. Um, I'm not going to take any responsibility for it. Well, maybe a little bit, but not a lot. But we'll see, because I'm not entirely sure what he bought, to be honest with you. I know, like, little bits here and there, and I'm, I'm really hoping. I have, like, a new tool tonight to open boxes. Um, I'm hoping it works. But um, I'm, I don't entirely know, because he gets to, you know, buying some things. And, you know, I never really know what it could be. Could be many, many, many things. Um, I'm getting some assistance because this is a huge box. There we go. And I don't like sharp things on camera. All right. So I'm going to start digging in. Very well packaged, too. Okay. There's a lot in here. Okay. <laughs> so there is a box within a box. So I need my little tool. See, we're, we're working on it together. We're doing some collaborative opening of boxes because there's a lot in here. And unless you want to be here all night, he's going to help me open this box. Oh, okay. So, this is the beautiful Battle Armor Skeletor. And I think this is like the collector's edition one. Like it's like collector grade. So it means it's unpunched. It's like super pristine and it's wrapped in plastic. So this is the beautiful, beautiful um, collector's grade. And like I said before, it's really hard to tell the difference between collector grade and what Big Bad Toy Store normally ships because they ship their stuff so well anyway. So this is the one that's going to get displayed. Like this is so pretty, it's probably gonna go like on a wall somewhere, like in a like a shadow box or something. It's so pretty. All right, so that's one of many, many in here. Oh, and I think this is the He-Man to go along with it. At least that's what I'm thinking. Uh, but we will find out. Yes, indeed it is. And of course I open it backwards. Um, but this is the beautiful collector's grade He-Man. The battle armor with the spring action in the chest plate. Um, unpunched, beautiful, beautiful condition. So again, I, I'm going to figure out a really good way to display this because it really deserves um, the display. And I would like to mention here, I am not too keen on, you know, his very angry looking face in this one. Like his face looks a little off, but I love the vintage head attachment. So kudos for putting that one in there because I kind of like that one a little bit better. So I like it. It's really nice. And I'm glad I have that. Okay. And if you saw our videos before, yes, we do have these as well, but not the collector's grade. So that's good. All right. Wow. This is the box that never ends. Oh, of course my husband snuck some turtles in here. And I, I'm, I think it's really funny because I don't think he remembers half the things that he buys and orders until it gets here. So it's kind of like a surprise for him too. So this says Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Raphael. Oh, and it's like a sealed thing. So like I'm going to have to open this packaging. Like I'm going to have to so you guys can see the Raphael. So I'm going to try and not jack myself up. Again, new tool that I'm trying out tonight. Don't know if it's going to be any good. I, I don't know. 
I'm just hoping not to like cut my finger off on camera. And I'm trying to use it like as little as possible because I, I don't want to lose the finger. That's not cute. So, okay. So first of all, the packaging is really beautiful. So we've got this really nice sewer grate on the front and it's got, you know, the turtle in the sewer grate. It's really cute. And Super 7, I mean, come on. You do some amazing things, let me tell you. And then we have the vintage logo on the back. So that's cute as well. So I am going to lift this bad boy up. And maybe, okay. And there's the back. Ooh. Yeah, I did that on purpose so I could see it first. Um, this is really pretty. So it comes with a lot of accessories. So, ta-da, there it is. Raphael, the witty voice of the turtles. Well, yeah, he does have a mouth on him, doesn't he? He's very sarcastic, he's very crass, and he's very to the point. He's very much my husband, and I'm pretty sure that's why he likes them. So it comes with some really cool stuff. Of course, it comes with a pizza because you have to have a slice of pizza with the turtle. Um, then it comes with an, another head where he's got like anger, squinty eyes, and like the turtle tracking devices and, you know, some close combat weapons, his size, of course, and some range combat weapons. So very neat. Absolutely love this. This is gorgeous. Um, and this is like a... a based off of the Nickelodeon cartoon and everything. So, and then there's like, oh, look it. In the back, there's a weapons rack. And then you got more hands back there so he can hold like more stuff. So, very cool, right? I like it. And the graffiti on the back, I must mention, there's like, it says Cowabunga and all that cool stuff. So, very cool packaging, Super 7. I love the way you do things. Very nice. Okay, age is 14 plus. I think my husband qualifies. Okay, so that's one. And he got another one, so I'm not gonna open it. So I'm guessing he got one to open and one to keep sealed. So I'm gonna keep this one sealed. I'm not gonna open it and I'm just gonna put it down here, so. Good idea. All right, let me see what this one is. It doesn't say. This one's a mystery. All right, let's look. I haven't seen anything for me in here yet. Well, I guess we can share some of the, uh, the Masters of the Universe stuff. Oh, there it is. There's what, there's what it is. Oh, here we go. And we got the Collector's Grade Trap Jaw. Because that's my husband's favorite. So there you go. Very beautiful, pristine condition, unpunched. Much better than the one my husband has sealed. So let me tell you, this is going to stay. So very, very cool. This is a nice little addition to the collection. All right, I'm trying to see. Oh, this is so amazing looking. Oh my goodness, this land shark is gorgeous. Okay, I'll put it down there so you can look at it now. But come on now. That looks just like the vintage one. It's phenomenal. Like, I really want to open this and play with this in the worst way. I'm hoping there's another one in this box because I'm really going to open it. My son's not getting his paws on these. Oh, this is so cool. And then, like, we can put it up there with the other ones and um, with our other origins, and we can make them play together. Well, first of all, look at this little critter on the side of the box. Man, you got to mention the little critter, right? Really cool. But... Kessel Grayskull needs to be next. I'm not going to lie. Um, I think we're going to have to get it. And then um, we don't have Clam Champ yet. Maybe on the way. I know we pre-ordered a bunch of the um, like waves of the Origins. So hopefully that's coming. But this is amazing. It's got like all the gorgeous stickers and everything. This is really dope. I like it. Okay. Let's see. Okay, so this is an extra panther because I know we have one. I don't know if we have two. I'm looking at the, at the whole display over here. I don't think we have two. So now we can have one to open, and now we can have one to um, keep sealed. So look at the little dinosaurs hanging on there. Really cute. So, yay. Awesome. I'm, like, accumulating a really big collection over here. And next. 
Okay, there's another panther, so I'm not going to show that off. And then there's another land shark, so I'm really excited. Can't wait to open this. Like, there's probably going to be an after video of me playing with it. It's probably what it's going to be because I'm really excited. Um, so that was what we got from Big Bad Toy Store, but we have a little bit of a mail call though, that I kind of wanted to um, get into. I'm trying to think if this will actually fit down here or not. So maybe I got room over here. I think. There we go. This is what I'm going to do. Such a big box. And I didn't clean up from the last video. So there's like stuff everywhere. It's kind of my fault. Like it's everything is going crazy because I just did not clean anything. And it's my fault. But it's okay. Um, so we got some other stuff here. And don't know what it is it's a little little box i like little little boxes it means little little things are inside and i like little little surprises so we will see what is in this little box i think it's ridiculous how we go from like little from like really huge box to little box that's just kind of how we do things oh, of course it's stuck on one spot over here so all right let me see what could it be? What could it be? Oh, okay. So again, if you have not seen our last video, um, we are trying to do custom GI Joes. And my husband is using this, um, to this Viper to get a custom mold made. And he's using, I think it's the arms of these guys to make um, his character, the DNG 5572, well, little DNG. Um, so he, this guy's going to be used for parts. So this was, I think we had another mail call with him in it. <coughs> so this could be a thing. There you go. I got him to stand too. Look at that. I knew it had to be something like that in the box. All right. This is from Random Treasures. And I'm trying to figure out how to open this one. I don't think I'm going to use this little knifey thing anymore. I'm so worried about jacking myself up. We got another one. So there you go. Like I said, um, I'm not going to open this one. But he's going to be used for parts. That's kind of what we're going for. All right. And then, last box. And then, of course, under all my boxes, I find the tool I normally use. The one that's not as dangerous. But I found it for next time, so that's good. So you won't see me lose an appendage. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to check. Okay, good. Good thing I checked. Oh, is this for me? Is this a cover commander in here? At least I'm hoping it is. No, it's not. So, um, here's another. But he's got a cool helmet, though. And then... That's it. Why so much stuff to ship a little man? I don't know, man. But there you go. So now I think my husband's got all he needs. Probably not. Because, you know, the D&Gs are army builders. So he's going to collect them kind of like he does with the horde troopers. And kind of like he does with the bats. So there's going to be tons and tons and tons of them coming in. But that was our mail call. So... Um, shout out to Big Bad Toy Store. Thanks for giving us our toys and being our toy dealer all the time. We get some really cool stuff from you guys. And um, in the description below, there's going to be a link. So if you guys ever want to buy something from Big Bad Toy Store, use our link. That way they know that we sent you and that, you know, we're sending people their way. But other than that, I'm going to go play with the Land Shark and I'll see you guys next video. Bye. Hey everyone, so we have reached a new milestone and I'm really excited because finishing one milestone means I can go make another one. So I would like everyone to make sure that they're continuing to comment, like, and subscribe on the page and get your friends and family to do it too um, because the more the channel grows, the more fun stuff we get to do. So I wanted to let you guys know um, we're going to still do giveaways and such um, with the comments and the comments have been reset um, at the 150 mark. So any videos after January 10th is how we're going to count the comments going forward. So make sure you're commenting on the new videos that are coming out. So I'm thinking um, our next giveaway is probably going to be at the 300 subscribers mark. And I think it's very doable. I think we can reach it. And I'm really excited and looking forward to it. Um, so I think, I, I don't know. I don't think I know what the prize is going to be yet. So it's to be determined. Um, 
we'll see. And you know, I'm always taking suggestions. So if you want to put something down in the comments that um, some toy that you would like to see as a giveaway, just let me know. Um, so yeah, and it could be another um, winner's choice. So who knows? And don't be disheartened. I know some of you think that 300 is really far away. But who knows, I may just do a random giveaway in the middle just because I like doing giveaways. So stay tuned. I may like put a secret word in a video that if you are the first one to find the hidden word, then you get a, a toy or get a prize. So who knows? So stay tuned. Um, and I appreciate you guys as always. And help me reach my next milestone. I'll see you soon. told you there would be an after video so um definitely got this open with some help of course and this is like some assembly required um mainly because it just didn't fit in the box i guess without it um but essentially i'm gonna let my husband do it because you know i don't want to jack stuff up essentially it just pops in it's got you know little sections oh right there it's got little sections where it just essentially pops in and same with this it just pops in as well so I'm gonna let my husband put that together but I figured while he does that I would bring out the vintage version and talk about that one so when I was just doing an overall glance between the two they looked very very similar I think one of the biggest differences at the is the origins one is a little bit longer um, which is perfectly fine with me. I mean, the Origins figures are essentially a little bit bulkier, so it kind of needs something different. Um, and the other thing I noticed is the gun choices. So this gun has like a, a double barrel over here, and then this is like a little pistol shooter thing. So instead of having, you know, two different guns on each side, the new one, the Origins one, opted for the double barrel over here. So that's kind of cool. So I'm gonna scoot this this way. All right, and then I'm gonna bring this up. Okay, so like I said, it kind of opted for like the double barrel and the guns are so much bigger than they are on the original. Um, but overall, like it's pretty much to a T, like as far as stickers and stuff. Um, but I'm like, I'm trying to see, there you go, there you go, there you go. It's got the shark action, which is important. Again, the stickers on the inside are extremely similar, if not exact, spot on. And all of the detailing and the plastic on the nose are the same as well. And it seems to be like there's more detail in the shark teeth on this one. Um, they seem to be more jagged on this one and like detailed than on the other one. And the cool thing is, the plastic is still the same so this is a more this is a softer plastic and a more malleable plastic like this one as well so again tons of similarity so this was done very well so you know essentially you know and you get your guys right and then we're going to check out the vintage style there you go. This is an old shark. He, he, he's ready to go out to pasture. He, he needs some rest. But, you know, almost a very similar eye sticker. Went with, like, a smaller eye. Um, but overall, really good job. Very true to the original, and I absolutely love it. So I'm going to bring this bad boy back up so you can have a little view of what it looks like all around. Really, really like it. Oh, and they did add another little detail. Look, it's like a little shark fin right there. That's a new detail. See, attention to detail. I like that stuff. And it's like, yeah, it's like spot on to the original. So this is going to be a fun toy to play with, guys. I'm going to go play with it some more. And I'll see you next video. Bye.